Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching my live show Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you are new and want to grow fast in the software industry, then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates. Uh, sir, I have started my first job as software testing with TCS. Is software testing good? Should I switch to development or I learn automation testing and make future in testing? Sir, I'm confused. Okay. See, here is the thing. Okay. Uh, just think like this, that you are given an opportunity by TCS to get to do something. Okay. Now take full advantage of that opportunity and become really good in that opportunity. When you're thinking to go into uh, software development, okay, you are on, on in one area of the software development life cycle. No area in software development life cycle is bad. All areas are equally important. Okay. So you are in one area, which is quality assurance and testing. So it is a very important part of any software company. Competition is also less because everybody wants to move towards software development. Okay. So you do really well the software testing and like you mentioned automation. Yes, learn automation because more and more companies are trying to adopt automation. More and more companies want test automation and test automation is not an easy thing to do. Also, test automation also requires software development. That means you need to understand how software development works. Test automation is nothing but writing a code that will test other people's code. How good is that? Right? So test automation is also like that. Okay, so I think uh, you need to learn Java programming and Selenium. Selenium is one of the most popular test automation frameworks. So you should do your manual testing along with that start learning test automation. After you learn test automation, after you spend some time building test automation scripts and everything, after you have a good experience, maybe two years experience, three years experience or four years experience, after that, you can go get into robotic process automation because this whatever is the infrastructure for test automation, a very similar infrastructure is there for robotic process automation. OK, and robotic process automation is used in manufacturing companies. It is used in software company, software industry. Nowadays, it is used in a lot of different industries to control robots and to control processes. Okay. In banking, it is known, uh, known by the name of chatbots. Chatbots is nothing but you are writing different scripts to interact with the user. Okay. Depending on what the user is, uh, is typing in their, um, in, in, in their chat uh, message system. Correct. So from automation, you have these fields which open up that is RPA and chatbots and all these things. These are all interesting things and everything can start from the place in uh, software testing. Okay. See, one thing I have uh, advice for all the fresher is what you got. Okay. From there, you have to build your career. Okay. Whatever you have got from there, you have to build your career. TCS is a very good company. Uh, all these big companies have done something right because of which they are like the top 10 companies in the world. Correct? Like TCS, Infosys, Wipro. And a lot of people say, oh, it is not good working in TCS or it's not good working in Infosys. But think about the financial stability you get within a TCS or Infosys or any of these companies. And think about such a big, uh, it, TCS is like a universe, right? There are so many technologies they are working on. There are so many different projects they are working on. And if you stay long with TCS, you can easily move from one project to another. You can move from one technology to another. It all depends on how you develop yourself and how you uh, 
work on technologies and then show TCS that look, I have done this, this, these things. If you can give me a project change, then it will help me uh, to forward my career. And that is what, what you can do within big companies. Okay, if you go to a smaller company, the options are very limited. Okay, uh, unless the company is growing really fast, there are startups which are growing really fast, then you are going to learn a lot of things. But if there is a company which is there from last 20, 25 years, it is not growing much. Okay, then that means they are using the same tools and tech, uh, technologies and they are not uh, changing a lot of things within their company which can you can learn those things but after sometimes it will become stagnant so becoming uh, uh, getting into software testing is a good thing from there how you build your career will uh, decide how you will arrive in future okay see all of us are moving towards the future but what we are going to do today is going to define our future so what you do today with your testing career that will start defining your future so do a really good job and that will grow uh, your career as required at this point you just have to decide that how do you do your best work within what is given to you then it will decide your next path okay it's one step at a time okay hope, i hope i hope that uh, works for you shubham okay uh, and don't be uh, don't be confused confusion uh, does not help okay if you are if you are uh, remaining confused uh, uh, check my a players course which is an automatic course like you enroll into the course in 60 days uh, uh, one one video will be delivered every 3 days and in 60 days you will see 22 videos which will help you to become better in the software industry help you to it will open some doors you know and uh, the more you understand those that philosophy the more you will start becoming an a player you will understand that everything is in your hands okay at present you feel that okay it's in hand of somebody else it's in hand of the industry companies are ruling this and all these things okay everything is in your hands okay only thing is you have to take control back and that's what I, I really hope that this session, it helps everybody who joins this session. So the most important part to do is subscribe to my channel. Also check the description of this video for my course on how to become A players. Thank you very much and see you on the next live.